You gotta be the hardest workers in the room. Get your ass in that weight room and you put in the work. No one will outwork me. And I don't give a f who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. At some point, you gotta be fing tired of not being number one. You gotta work every fing day. Saturday night, and I ain't got nobody. I got some money cause I just got paid. Oh, how I wish I had some chick to talk to. I'm in an awful way. You're like, hey, Rock, American Idol is down the fucking road, <laughs> okay? Hey, the mass Singer is taking auditions. Stop fucking wasting our time. I know, I'm being very silly. It's Saturday night. Um, just got done with my workout here. I just wanted to um, share something with you really quickly. So there was a huge response to the last post that I posted right here in the gym. I think it was yesterday, last night, around midnight or so. And uh, I had talked about pushing uh, past the fatigue and doing the daily consistent little things that so many times we don't fucking feel like doing, but we do them anyway. Because I do believe truly that when you do push past the fatigue, on the other side of pushing past the fatigue and conditioning your body and your mentality to do that, usually on the other side of that fatigue is some greatness, is some achievement. But what I wanted to share with you guys is it's beyond the gym. So it, you don't have to be uh, you know, a gym warrior to uh, embrace the philosophy. It's just conditioning your mentality, your psychology, conditioning. It's your DNA and your constitution and your mana to do the little things and be consistent with your disciplines. And on the other side of that consistency and discipline is usually greatness. Okay, I'm gonna go sign up for American Idol. Enjoy your weekend. I love you guys and thanks for the response.